going to focus on this particular point or question was Cyril Ramaphosa or is Cyril Ramaphosa or is Jacob Zuma in any particular secret organization, particularly organizations like the Knights of Malta, organizations like the Freemasons and all that nine hojes. It's the kind of stuff that you find on, on YouTube and people just kind of speculate on it. Sometimes they use pictures of like hand signs to say someone put up a particular finger up. Like for instance, people have taken a very big issue with that belt. There's this belt with the, with the with an eagle's head. Uh, it's a very high-end brand. I think the belt costs about 50,000 rands, okay? It, it's not really an organization. It's not like a, a secret thing that they give you when you join an organization. No, it's an expensive belt. I forgot the name of the brand. If I do remember, I'll put it up here. But people have taken that. It, it causes, I feel like it causes that. It causes that kind of um, uh, fear view of people. It makes you kind of like look for signs all the time. For a very long time, I had that thinking until right about uh, 2014, 15. I started watching a lot of documentaries and that helped me appreciate people's journeys into their success or where they are. And so it kind of wiped out that view of looking for signs everywhere. Start here from the beginning of freedom of South Africa, a period which we are most all proud of. If you are not, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe you are bitter about something. I'm kind of happy that we have the freedom that we have. Man, them wouldn't be sitting here uh, talking <laughs> the way I am or being critical of people the way I am if we didn't have a democratic country. Look at people like Nelson Mandela and Thabo Mbeki. As compared to Jacob Zuma, Nelson Mandela was a Knight of Malta. You could see pictures of him in, in, in involved in it. You can see pictures of him involved in the parades and all that nine hajes. That's not a guess. We know he was there, okay? And so we, 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 we saw him in the matches, <laughs> in all that kind of, and he had the entire uniform and all that. A Knight of Malta, I do know that there are also Christians who are inside there. There's so many of these knights. I, I, I don't even bother myself to remember all of them. They're all branches from all these different facets. There are certain uh, organizations which do, be, which do uh, hold their public um, kind of events, particularly in Ghana. It, it's a public thing. If, if I remember, I'll put up a smaller video. We have common ideas. Uh, but we do things slightly differently. So I didn't know anything about it. And probably at some point in time, I also had misgivings about what people who appeared uh, to be meeting in, in, in private and uh, hidden chambers do. But I was meant to join. So as much as I tried to keep away, I was found out and brought in. So this is not like conspiracy anymore. <laughs> with, the, with the age of the internet and videos and whatnot, it's kind of public knowledge. Thabo Mbeki also was a president. He who was second from Nelson Mandela, who also was a knight of Malta. And you can see pictures of him in the involved in the parades as well, okay? Uh, there, there's no denying, you don't just wear that uniform just randomly. That is a knight of Malta, you can see it by the sign on their chest over there so we do know that he is in that but when it comes to jacob zuma we've seen him wearing the shembe outfit we've seen him that he believes in that but we've not seen him in the uniform if you have I, you can take me on that picture on facebook that would be awesome i'm interested in seeing that picture but we haven't seen him involved in any of this masonry stuff or anything like Knights of Malta's and all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's kind of like an education, an educated man's kind of a thing. So it fits that you would see people like uh, Thabo Mbeki and Nelson Mandela, people who are educated <laughs> and stuff. And that's not a diss. So the Shemba guys, they we know that they believe something like a cult or something like that. They believe that this there's a particular man. They call him Nyazi, Nyazi. Where's Zulu? And they say he is Jesus. As a matter of fact, if you go to the Texas in, in Joburg, you will see that they, they have this hanging thing which says, uh, Unyaz is the way, Jesus, uh, uh, Shembe is the way. 
opposed to Jesus being the way. And also you will note of the song that was done by Lucky Dube, which says the same thing, that Shande is the way. And so it's kind of the earth. So we know what he believes. But we haven't seen pictures. Me, personally, I haven't seen pictures of him being involved in any of this kind of educated men, gentlemen, secret society stuff. I haven't seen him in that, but I did see him in the particular belief system of Shembe. So if you do find that picture, do send it to me. I will be very interested in seeing that one. And also Cyril, it's been kind of like the same thing. We do know that he's going to serve a period in jail over his uh, corrupt nature. So <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it is. And so y'all tell me if you have seen that. But my thoughts on it is this year. Personally, I don't like to focus on those things. I don't want to know what well, this one in the secret society. I don't. It becomes obvious if a person is, okay? Uh, but I'm not interested in that because most of the time it darkens your views over people. You're always looking for signs. And thank God I did watch those documentaries. I think one of the documentaries I watched was like on Obama. Yes, there are things I don't like. There are things that I know. But uh, that documentary made me appreciate these people's journeys so that I can wipe out that evil stuff. and things. So for me, don't obsess over that. Uh, y'all, if you do want to know those things, you can look it up online. But for me, personally, I feel like it darkens the person's heart. And so I don't focus that much on it. But anyways, it's Ricky. That is reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos are done today. Down in the pink comments. Y'all tell me what you think on this particular subject. Very interesting indeed. Zuma, we haven't seen anything of him. But the other first two, we do have full evidence. 